You ever tried to take care of or feed a dog that's been traumatized? My family has a ranch. Yes, I'm from Texas. And this ranch is out on this way back road, and it's really sad. People drop these dogs off way back there, and the dogs have often been abused. And we keep dog food out there for these dogs. And we see them. They're skittish, and they're and they're they're just so they're in such bad shape and often you can see their skin sticking to their bones they're starving and so here we are i pour a bowl full of dog food this dog is starving i have what it needs and wants and if i just hold it there and i say come on come come get it or i try to take it to the dog what does the dog do runs away because it's been wounded it's been traumatized so what do i have to do i have to put it there and back away and give that dog space. And on its own, as it feels safe, that dog will come and take that food. If I were to go, here, here's your food. This is what you need. This is what you've been asking for. This is what you want. And when the dog doesn't come for it, or the dog is too scared to trust me, I get angry and I throw the food at the dog. But that's what I've seen a lot of people do to their partners who've been traumatized. You're saying you want me to be vulnerable. You're saying you want me to be empathetic. And now I do it and you, you just walk away and you don't trust it. I'm doing what you asked me to do. Of course they don't trust it. They've been traumatized. So you know what you do? From your values, you put out there what's right and good, the food. You back away and you let your partner take that in in his or her own time. And you do that consistently over time. And guess what happens? Trust is built. If I keep feeding that dog every day, that dog will let me get closer and closer and closer, and eventually I'm going to be able to pet that dog. 